In 2021, Toaster Girl's LEGO Sonic submission hit 10,000 supporters on LEGO Ideas, which had the Death Egg mech as a part of the pitch. Unfortunately, it didn't make the final Ideas set release, but somehow this did. Now as a part of the new Sonic theme in 2023, we finally have this set in hand. It's one of the better offerings of this first wave, but there's some cracks in this egg you should know before buying. Sonic vs. Dr. Eggman Death Egg Battle retails for $60, a little on the pricier side, and releases on August 1st. Across one instruction booklet and five numbered bags, you'll start the build with the blue blur, being his modern interpretation with green eyes and a different belly compared to his classic variant from the LEGO Ideas set. Funny enough, they also swapped where his mouth is, but beyond that, they have similar leg and back printing. If you have both, maybe you could get some Sonic Generations action going on. Also in this bag is a launcher and speed spear for Sonic. You could put the figure inside this hamster ball like contraption that simulates the spin dash, load him into the launcher, admire that printed bumper piece, and press down to take off at supersonic speed. It's a fun feature and mainstay across the Sonic theme, appearing in three different sets, but I noticed after a few tries that it sort of scraped my Sonic torso. So if you're one to keep your minifigures pristine, maybe don't put your figures inside the spherical prison. Bag 2 has more figures and some extra builds. The standout figure of this set is Dr. Eggman, who's an excellent figure. Sorry, I couldn't resist. His printing on his new body piece is very well done and uses some cool parts for his body like Hagrid's arms from Harry Potter and Woody's legs from Toy Story. So it's interesting to see how LEGO repurposes these parts you don't always see on minifigures. But the best part of this figure is that we can finally get rid of that brick belt Eggman. He gives me the ick. Our last figure, Cuba, is someone I'm surprised made the cut, but because he uses no new parts, he probably costs nothing to make. Cuba is underpaid to work at this research power station, complete with a Chaos Emerald. The point of this is to knock the dome over, which isn't attached, to save our critter friend Flicky, and Sonic can knock it over as planned with a spin dash. This play feature actually works as intended, compared to the titular build of this set, the Death Egg. It's smaller than I expected for the price, but it's great to finally have this set in hand, as it makes for a great display piece not just for the LEGO Ideas set, but in general. It also pairs well with the other Sonic sets like Amy's Animal Rescue to get all the figures, or they give an alternate boss for the Big Loop Challenge set. While many know this iconic vehicle from Sonic 2, I think it's actually based off the version in Sonic Generations, mainly due to the shoulders and this printed piece on the backpack. And that printed piece is actually from the LEGO typewriter, where it's kinda wild that the designers found a way to repurpose the letter I. The mech space has these printed eye pieces with that anime glass glare and a luscious mustache. Inside you can seat the Eggman figure comfortably despite the long legs and close it up easily. But for accuracy to the game this should have been either skin toned or a metal color, but I imagine they did this so you could see the minifigure inside. There are also several points of articulation, like in his arms, legs, and a little in the feet. He could even do a split if you're into that, but I definitely prefer my eggs runny. On his arms he has a drill, which is merely an illusion since the gauntlet spins instead, and a clip of studs on the other side, where if we turn the gauntlet, Never gonna find those again. Both of those are fun, but the main feature of this build is his belly. When you press it, his backpack slides out and you save the critters powering the mech. This works by these clips having a looser connection, so when the bellies hit, these pins will push it out. Luckily, the play feature isn't super intrusive to displaying the build, and it emulates an actual Sonic boss fight pretty well. This is intended to be used with the speed spear, but I'm sad to say that for a fun and solid idea, it doesn't always work in execution. It's not the most consistent thing in the world, as you really need the slam down on the spin dash to get enough force to knock it out, but the more force you apply, the more you risk damaging the set. As you can see, this black piece is pretty banged up just from messing around with it. If you play with your sets, you may not care, but it's still alarming to see how easily this set could be damaged. I guess it's all a part of emulating the boss fight, considering what happens when you win in game. Still, despite the cracks in this play feature, the set itself is a good interest section of play and display.
With that said, overall, I give this set a 7 out of 10, but if we're ranking it like a Sonic game, I give it a B. While the play feature doesn't exactly work consistently and can cause damage to the set easily, it's still a fun idea, and the mech itself makes for a great display model and inclusion to your other Sonic sets. The figures are high quality, and given how iconic the vehicle is to Sonic fans, I think this one's going to be a solid seller for the theme, despite the high price point. But that's enough for me. Let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments below, and until next time, happy building!